Hello, my name is Isabella and I will be your host today for another mathematics video brought to you by RJ. My question for you today is, what is the product of consecutive triangular numbers? Or more precisely, is there a closed formula for the product of consecutive triangular numbers? Triangular numbers are sums of consecutive integers from 1 to n. The third number from the left of each row in Pascal's triangle is a triangular number, which can be represented as the binomial coefficient. n plus 1 choose 2. Another way of representing a triangular number is... However, as we can see, this contains a summation symbol. In the previous video, I mentioned there is a closed formula for this, which is n times quantity n plus 1 all over 2. We will now use this closed formula to find a formula for the product of a finite set of decreasing consecutive triangular numbers. This can be written as p is the number of consecutive triangular numbers in this set. Of course, we could multiply everything out and then simplify the product, but let us solve it in a bit easier way. Let's see what the product looks like in practice. There are p numbers of 1 halves, one for each triangular number. Therefore, we can simplify this part to 1 over 2 to the power p. Here, we have a finite product of decreasing consecutive integers. Hence, we can use the factorial function in place of this, which multiplies every integer from n all the way down to 1. We do, however, need to modify it a bit. The factorial needs to start at n and stop at n minus p plus 1. To do so, we just divide the factorial of the former by the factorial of one integer less than the latter as follows. We can repeat this process again with this product. The factorial needs to start at n plus 1 and stop at n minus p plus 2. Again, we divide the factorial of the former by the factorial of one integer less than the latter. We now have a closed formula for the product of decreasing consecutive triangular numbers, but we can simplify this even more. This is the general formula for a binomial coefficient. It is much simpler to write factorials as binomial coefficients if possible. And we can, in our closed formula, in fact, we have two binomial coefficients. For the first binomial coefficient, a equals n and b equals p. For the second binomial coefficient, a equals n plus 1 and b equals p. Thus, we can change the factorials too, but we have an issue here. In the general formula, we have an extra b factorial in the denominator. To fix this, all we have to do is multiply our formula by b factorial for each binomial coefficient. Since b equals p for each binomial coefficient in our formula, and we have two of them, then we just multiply our formula by p factorial squared. We now have a simplified closed formula for the product of decreasing consecutive triangular numbers. Now, I bet you are wondering about the product of increasing consecutive triangular numbers. To do so, we just follow the same process as we did with decreasing, but with different initial conditions. In practice, this looks like, again, there are p number of 1 halves. Therefore, we can simplify this part to 1 over 2 to the power p. Here we have p factorial, and here we have p plus 1 factorial. Now we can simplify everything to... There is no simple way of transforming this into binomial coefficients. 
Thus, we now have a closed formula for the product of increasing consecutive triangular numbers. The only product left to derive is the product of total consecutive triangular numbers, which is the product of sums of 1 to n for all 1 to n. All we do is plug in n for p. This gives us the closed formula. We have found a closed formula for the product of decreasing, increasing, and total consecutive triangular numbers. Can you think of ways these formulas could be important or helpful? I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.